we want to use the distributive property to simplify the given expressions. The distributive property is given here below, where we have a times the quantity b plus or minus c equals a times b plus or minus a times c. This is often referred to as multiplication across addition or subtraction. Notice what's happening here is every term inside the parentheses is being multiplied by a. So we have a times b plus or minus a times c. Now looking at our first example, notice how we have a trinomial or three terms inside the parentheses, but the process will be the same. We'll multiply each term inside the parentheses by three. The way we would say this is three times the quantity r plus two s minus four. So again, we'll have three times r plus three times two s minus three times four. So three times r plus three times two s minus three times four. And now we'll find the products and see if we can simplify. Three times r is three r plus three times two s would be six s. And then we have minus three times four, so we have minus twelve. Next we have negative nine p times the quantity p plus two. So again, we'll multiply both terms inside the parentheses by negative nine p. So we'll have negative nine p times p plus negative nine p times two. So negative nine p times p, that would be negative nine p squared. And then we have plus negative nine p times two, that'd be negative eighteen p. While this is correct, we normally would not leave it as plus a negative eighteen p. Remember, adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we'd normally see this as a negative nine p squared and then just minus eighteen p. After doing these a while, it's common not to show this much work. Notice how we can think of this as negative nine p times p for negative nine p squared and then negative nine p times a positive two would be negative eighteen p and therefore we can just write minus eighteen p. Let's take a look at one more example. Here we have negative five b times the quantity two a plus eight b minus one. Again, we'll multiply every term inside the parentheses by negative five b. So we'd have negative five b times two a plus negative five b times eight b minus negative five b times one. Now we'll find each product. Here we'll have negative ten a b if you need the review, here are the rules for multiplying sign numbers. A negative times a positive is negative. Then we have plus negative five b times eight b, that would be negative forty b squared. And then we have minus negative five b times one would be negative five b. Let's simplify this one more time. It's not common to leave the simplified expression in this form here. Instead of leaving this as plus negative forty b squared, it's normally written as just minus forty b squared. So we have negative ten a b and then just minus forty b squared. And then we have minus a negative five b and subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive. So we'd simplify this to plus five b. And again, after doing this a while, we normally don't show this much work. Going back to the original problem, negative five b times positive two a is negative ten a b. Negative five b times a positive eight b is negative forty b squared. So we can just write minus forty b squared. And then for the last product, we could think of this as negative five b times negative one, which would be a positive five b. So we write plus five b. I hope you found these examples helpful.